really interesting from a pharmacological point of view or and molecular basis because the molecules look extraordinarily different. There, you know, I, I kind of went into this thinking that they were going to be very similar and therefore, you know, their act activities and such are going to be similar. Um, and they are, they do act in a very similar fashion, but molecularly they're very different. So you have to wonder like how that happens for a lot of the evolutionary scale. Um, but they both do fantastic things, right? They're, they're both AMP kinase activators, which makes them partial mTOR inhibitors. They change your microbiota. They do just a, a lot of things. But then there are sub things that some do and some don't, right? So metformin, controls the mitochondrial transition pore, which is amazing. And there was no evidence that berberine did that. Anyway, so there, there, there are slightly different things that they both do. And my favorite study actually demonstrated in people, like real people, that 500 milligrams of each one separated by eight hours a day was the most beneficial way to go. You know, when I wrote book one, I was on this huge metformin kick and I probably took far too much every day. I took 850 twice a day for my body size, which is probably a bit overkill. And then after sort of doing the research on berberine, I'm like, oh my God, this is truly amazing. And let's, let's, let's look at the synergistic effects rather than assuming that one thing is going to do everything. And this is also sort of a theme that sort of came out of book two as well. You don't need the same high doses of individual agents for things that are synergistic. 500 of one, 500 of the other together on a daily basis seems to be more beneficial than high doses of metformin with, with none of the side effects. So I thought that, you know what, that's, that's now I think the way to go.